Hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial of Swap and Draw. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, kindly subscribe it by hitting on the bell icon so that you can get the updates of upcoming videos. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the decomposition process in detail. So decomposition is basically related with the breakdown. Breakdown of organic molecules or we can say that organic matter. Organic matter means the natural matter which we get by nature. It can be plants, animal, worms, anything which is living. So we can say that decomposition can be defined as breaking down of complex organic matter. into inorganic matter. Inorganic means that which is not living. It cannot be book, pen or anything like that. It is like, it is the natural one, but non-living. So the examples can be like, it can be water, nutrients, like that. So this process basically uses raw material and their raw material are like dead plants, animal, in case of animal, their feces are also involved. That means their excreta. So these are the raw material. And we used to give some scientific term to this raw material. And that term is known as detritus. So as you can see here, let's examine this. Here you can see that organic molecule, uh, organic matter, it gets break down into the nutrients, water, and other inorganic matter. So this kind of process uses dead plants or dead animals along with the excreta. So you must have seen some, uh, when you go to the village, you will see the dung, excreta spread over the ground. So how it can be neutralized? It can be decomposed by some bacteria and fungi. So now what is the role of decomposition? This is the question. So let's answer this question. So basically decomposition, it promotes recycling or we can say that it helps in recycling of biogeochemicals, meaning is that naturally present chemicals in our surrounding so it helps in recycling of these chemicals. Also, it aids in creating space. For new generation. Of various organisms. So let's suppose you know that human body, they are buried in coffin. And in coffin, people used to add some food material also. Why they add? 
because the process of decomposition process can move freely and it will result in a uh, conversion of that complex human body into the nutrients so the in that way decomposition helps in creating the space so decomposition have five stages in the process the first one is fragmentation in fragmentation basically breakdown happens breakdown of detritus detritus means dead plant or animal body or the feces into small fragments so this is done by earthworm termites and beetles so this was about the fragmentation coming to the leaching in leaching basically water soluble nutrients which are produced after the breakdown of detritus they go down in soil horizon and gets precipitated as salts so in that way the soil becomes fertile soil will be getting the nutrients because after breakdown so the remaining nutrients which were water soluble they will go deep in the soil and they will convert into the salt form so that was about leaching coming to the catabolism here what actually happen is decomposers these are the agent which convert the detritus into the fertile nutrients so basically it involve fungi and some bacteria so these decomposer they we can say that they excrete digestive enzymes over detritus that convert insoluble complex organic substances into simple and soluble organic and inorganic substances meaning is that so detritus on detritus what happens fungi and bacteria they accumulate they secrete some enzymes digestive enzymes with time 
which used to convert the complex molecule into the simpler one. So this is about the catabolism, which means basically breakdown. Next is humification. In humification, basically accumulation happens of dark color amorphous substance happen which is known as humus so this is resistant to microbial action. This is the speciality about humus. And since it is resistant to the microbial action, so it undergo decomposition at extremely low rate. So this is the speciality. Also, this humus, it is rich in lignin and cellulose chemical. That's why it is resistant. So this is the speciality of humus. Moving on to the last stage, which is mineralization. In this stage, what actually happened is humus is degraded by some microbes to release inorganic nutrients and the surroundings. So these are the five stages. So let's sum up with the help of flow diagram. So as you can see on the screen, detritus under environmental condition, it will go in these three stages like fragmentation, leaching and catabolism. These three stages will lead to humification or mineralization. In case of humification, it will lead to formation of humus which is rich in lignin and cellulose. That's why it is resistant to microbial degradation and it will slow down the decomposition process. And in case of mineralization, it will be converting into organic nutrient, inorganic nutrients, which are generally carbon dioxide, water, and some nutrients.